I see. If it's you... Then I shall bury you right here. I don't need two people knowing my past. No! This can't be happening! You should be grateful to die by my hand. Be serious. If I stay here, I'll be killed. I should let you, uh... Are you up? Looks like you were having a nightmare. Are you okay? Do you understand me? Really? Good to hear. I'm speaking English, but I don't understand a word of it. Right. In that case, I'll help you out. Lucky for you, I speak Japanese. Right. In that case, I'll help you out. All right, you can put your mind at ease. Thank goodness! What a relief! By the way, where are we? This is a different world from the one you've been living in. A different planet. Or should I say, a different universe? Whoa! Does that make me a space alien to the people of this world? Ah, well, I suppose you can think of it that way. By the way, why am I here? And what was it that I was doing again? Wait, who am I again? Well, you're Laura, aren't you? That's what your friend called you. Ah, right, of course, my friend called me that. Wait, my friend... I... You don't remember anything, right? Ah, you're right, I don't. How come? That's just what happens when you come to another world. Once you lose your memory, it never comes back. Really? You mean, I'll never recall the faces of my parents or my close friends? I hate to say it, but... I'll never see them or even remember them ever again. Oh well, what can you do? You're fine with that? I mean, you said I won't get my memory back, right? So what's the point of worrying about it? You've got a point, but does that really make it all right? Well, I suppose if you don't mind, then neither do I. By the way, who are you? Hey, what are you doing? Don't look at my belly. Quit touching me. Oh, I'm sorry. name's Leo. I'm a spirit. Leo? A spirit? Does that mean you can shoot fire or freeze lakes? No, I'm a world spirit. I can't do things like that. World spirit? 
I link different worlds together. I trade things from this world with things from other worlds. I guess you could say I transport things across worlds. Wow, that's incredible! Does that mean it was you who brought me here, Leo? You catch on quickly! Huh, so does that mean I could get you to use magic again to take me home? I'd like to go back if possible. Surely my parents and friends are concerned about my sudden disappearance. I don't think they're too worried. Why not? I said trade, didn't I? Your original body now contains the soul of another girl, one from this world. What the? This isn't my body! You've only just noticed? I wasn't sure because my memory's gone, but something felt off. You're in the body of a girl named Flora Adensel. She's the daughter of a Count. A Count? That's great, isn't it? Well, the thing is, she eloped and has actually been disowned. That's not great. She eloped? Right. The Count's selfish daughter ran off, but was unable to handle working and said she wanted to go to another world. Working. Ah, after she ran away, she needed money for herself, but she couldn't exactly go to the bank to withdraw money or take out a loan. She'd have to tell them her identity. So, she had no choice but to work. This world has banks. Even so, if she didn't work and just borrowed money, she wouldn't be able to pay it back. She had no choice but to work to avoid the debt trap. And you see, I was her contractor. I couldn't disobey her orders, so I sent her to another world. Contractor? Humans and spirits can sometimes enter into contracts with each other. In exchange for receiving magical powers from the human, the spirit must follow the human's commands. Huh, so when Flora said she wanted to go to another world, that makes sense. Perhaps she wanted to start a new life in a new place. So why am I in her body? Didn't I tell you already? My powers let me trade things between different worlds, so I traded your soul with Flora's. Oh, I get it now. Hey, that means I'm just collateral damage, doesn't it? I do feel sorry about that. Oh, you're too cute to be looking so sad. It's making me feel guilty. Um, hey, there was nothing you could do. I mean, you had to bring someone here to send Flora away, right? By the way, was there a reason you chose me? No, there was no special reason. You were both girls and were about the same age. So I was brought here for no reason. Well, I bet Leo didn't exactly want to switch us out either. Nothing I say now will change anything anyway. Right, I understand. By the way, I'm kind of hungry. You're very easygoing, aren't you? There's some food back in my hut. Really? Food or not, I would like to go somewhere more relaxing. We'll probably get tired if we keep chatting away in the forest like this. Right, well, then let's get moving. 